how do I look? Testing, testing. You know what? This is uh, a moment of my time. I've just been overwhelmed almost to the point where um, it feels so good from uh, fucking three teaspoons of the bomb hash oil, okay? That's not the fucking, like, knock a rhinoceros, you know, woozy if not down. Seriously, that's a lot. And uh, it would make them feel fucking way happy. It would put everybody else to sleep. But in me, what it does, uh, counterbalance with stevia, is it, it, like, it gives me a power surge. And uh, that fact is proven out fucking from uh, the Bon Pool fight, okay? Because uh, that kid is a savage, and he would fuck Steve Stevie up. So I think that, at the very least, <laughs> before I fucking render Steve Stevia, everything <coughs> honest to god man <laughs> different kinds of speed but be that as it may like on the football field if you had speed you could take things over <coughs> and sack the quarterback six and a half times in one game and <laughs> shit <coughs> oh you know what mm. you know what fact is, uh, this combination, it makes it so uh, I'm damn near as fast as, if not faster than I was at Notre Dame, and that was blazing speed, okay, I mean, I could get up and go, I had brothers talking about me like, damn, that white boy can actually change gears, man, you know what I'm saying, oh, it's not that just I was fucking quick, you know what I'm saying, but you know what, oh, I could fucking uh, <coughs> run step for step with Alan Pinkett, Man for man, my brother, uh, down the open field. Isn't that true, Alan? And, you know, Alan, if you came out and said, yeah, you know what? Dan is telling the truth because Alonzo Jefferson, uh, who was your backup, and, uh, he, you know, they always think they're better, don't they? I heard him talking a hell of shit about you, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it, it, it put it like this, AJ. The only reason that you got open, homie, is because after you figured that you couldn't fucking outspeed me, that I could stay with you step for step down the field, and you're like, God damn, you know what? Because I can jam, you know what I'm saying? Um, <coughs> you would stop, and you would pick a side, man. <coughs> Seriously. And, uh, you know, that kind of talent unleashed on the football field. You know what, man? Um, tragedy that I didn't walk on to the Los Angeles Raiders, Al Davis. Swear to God. You know what? I'm a post this. And, uh, you know what? It, it's all good. <coughs> I would trip on the time. Because at my house, it was, this would take like fucking like 900 minutes to upload. Right? I mean, but <coughs> when I'm... <coughs> <coughs> connected. See, when I snort it, some gets down on my lungs. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it makes me cough, but it fucking also exhilarates me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <coughs> even more. I've, I've experimented, like, before a fight, you know? Um, ha having that huge cough and stuff, and then just getting over them before the fight, you know? Um, and, uh, you know what? Uh, no, I haven't. That was just a thought, man. Uh, <laughs> fucking too goddamn bad. Uh, straight up, what I lament is that uh, I wasn't at my best in any of my fights. I was actually fighting with one arm, seriously, because I came back after major shoulder surgery fucking uh, <coughs> like four months after, was it? That's ridiculous. Anyways, or maybe it was six months, but it, it, it was like, damn. Um, and uh, they didn't really fix the problem, you know what I'm saying? Because I was throwing a punch and... Uh, Jamie Hart hit it, so my shoulder was in flight, man, uh, it was open, and, and it, it got fucking, like, extended and wobbly, to the point, like, we both looked at each other, and we're like, what the fuck, <coughs> and what it did is it whipped the 
fucking tip of my fucking scapula, okay, to a point where there was an injury down there that should have been fixed, and, and it wasn't, and, and kind of like all along the fucking, you know, I, th there should have been something done. <coughs> <coughs> And if it wasn't for Dr. Herb Akers, who's making it so Jamie Hart can fight, even though after everything's over, that Savage is going to have to have uh, surgery on his knee and shit. But Herb Akers overrode that. You know what? It was like going to knock him out of fights and shit, I think. But Herb kept him in the game. <coughs> and it's like this. Uh, this shit's going famous, okay? Whether you like it or not. And... Uh, what people should do is wake the fuck up, Joe Rogan. Seriously, uh, if I choose football, homeboy, uh, you and I know each other because everybody says that you're cool. And, and I, I'm that fucking white boy in the NFL, man. That, that's like, you know, I'll tell you what. If I hit the NFL, dog, okay, uh, and I can cover Alan Pinkett all over the field to where he can't get open, and then I can sack the quarterback 6.5 times in the 86 spring game, okay, to where NFL scouts are coming up to me, and they're like, dude, you know what, uh, this is illegal, okay, so off the record, you know what, uh, if you don't get hurt, and you're looking at first round, high first round, okay, keep me in mind and shit, you know what I'm saying, okay, and I gave that all up, there's a movie in that, seriously, okay, <coughs> football fucking potential white boy prodigy, okay, I was a white LT, you know, seriously, okay, I didn't really consider myself that, because I was like, damn, that guy's good, but I was covering Alan Pinkett all over the field, LT, and, uh, fact, you know, could you have done it, okay, probably you could, I don't know, uh, what you did was enough, dog, and you got fucking, uh, you got <coughs> butt fucked by a corrupt fucking system, that knows about stevia, yet makes it illegal and shit, <coughs> and so you kind of like started to slide to get in trouble on uh, cocaine, didn't you, okay, I'll tell you what, pure stevia, okay, the shit from Emperor's Abologist, oh my fucking god, man, that shit's so fucking good, homie, it, it'll fucking give you a drive for like an hour and a half, okay, uh, I mean a surge, you know what, <coughs> that's what Gypsy said, uh, Gave me about a surge of about one and a half hours, and that shit was good. And, uh, you know what? It's like this, LT and Joe Rogan. You know what? Uh, whatever bad boy image helped get the violin, the miracle for women's orgasms, okay? Helped get that famous. You know what? They would be forever linked to something so fucking good that women all over would be like, Oh my God, thank God for <coughs> so-and-so for finally waking up and actually funding this movie, man, seriously, you know what, I mean, I've said it before, but easily, you know, rubbing on the belly, right, okay, on the top of the G spot, you know, find the area, a couple of fingers, palm, whatever, okay, and then two, three actions, uh, three actions, three fingers, okay, you know what, depending, and, uh, you know what, uh, clitoral stimulation, and the top and the bottom of the G spot, you know, it, if I can lit a rape victim's pussy up to, <laughs> Damn your triple digit orgasms, homie. Okay, and, and treatment knows it works, and, and it's like this. You know what? Uh, thank God for this fast goddamn upload. You know, because this is cool. I'm I'm off on my schedule. You know what? Had to get this made. Okay, now I'm gonna post it. Okay, where it's gonna go zing up, and then I'm gonna continue. And uh, <coughs> it's like this. Fact, not fiction. When three teaspoons of hash oil just hit, um fact, that would fucking make it so no one could drive, they'd be fucking, oh my, and boom, asleep, okay, uh, seriously, and, and, and counterbalancing with stevia, <coughs> the fact that people in NNA uh, don't know about this, like down at the Alana Club, okay, you know what, I went to the Alana Club initially, like, you know what, uh, they don't even know me, you know what I'm saying, uh, but a lot of them did, because uh, of my reputation, or, you know, word spread did it, I, I don't know when I first went in there, but it's like this, you know, I, I came there to be, like, cool and as a friend, <coughs> but, um, you know, it, it's like this, it, it, if an untrained fucking uh, subject, okay, uh, were to actually trade punches with me, right now, when I'm in this condition, okay, uh, 
my shoulder fucking fixed to the point where I can attack your face with both of my fucking hands. Trust and believe, son, that what broke Bonapua's collarbone, because I set it up like that, um, <clears throat> what I did is I invited a right hand, okay, uh, and, and I slipped it, and, and then I attacked on my own and broke his shit, right? Uh, he didn't go out. That's the fucking scary part, that his brain didn't go out, because I fucking, I, I would like to talk to him. What did you feel? Because with your right hand, I saw a flash of, I mean, I saw angels, lights, okay? I mean, it was bing. Uh, it was the shit. Um, but I came back. You know what? Uh, no, I didn't say angels, man. It was like lightning bolts and shit. Seriously, okay? Um, but I could see angels, theoretically, because I'm fucking on SSI for a head injury. Because in 92, I was attacked at the uh, satin lady, okay? I was the manager of a titty club, okay? I knew bikers, okay? You know what? I lived this fucking life that they make movies about. You know, the guy in the NFL and shit. Who, I could have been there, you know? <coughs> and, uh, yeah, I was fucking uh, sitting on a stool watching fucking uh, the dancer dance, who was fine as fuck. And then... I felt something, turned around, bam, I got hit, okay, it would have been my right side, had I not, like, for some reason, you know, turned around, uh, enough to get hit on my left side, but a contact mark, okay, it was a blister, okay, from, you know, neck, I mean, it, it hit so fucking hard, and it shattered my fucking jaw, <coughs> and I didn't go out right away, okay, um, and I had methamphetamine in me, okay, but I wasn't really, really geed on that shit, so, you know, maybe it would have done the same thing, okay, with Bon Pool. but uh, I didn't go out right away, and I got up, and I fucking made a beeline for the fucking, uh, for the office, I knew these Mexicans were fucking running around a fucking side and shit, and, um, you know what, um, my plan was to fucking come out with my fucking, uh, I had a, uh, was it the uh, Colt 45? It wasn't a Colt 45, but it was fucking, it, it was uh, it was a fucking cannon. It was a 9mm, okay? Uh, it was the one that I got from Nasser Navarone for trading him that fucking machine that works like a charm to the where it fucking freezes Diego Sanchez in his place, okay? You know what? Um, straight up, uh, cut on his eye. And uh, he should be going to the hospital, but this machine has pulled so much fucking dirt. He's like, oh, my God, you know, I got to clean everything before you leave. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> and it's like this. Um, fact, not fiction. Um, you know, I'm on my way, you know, to do my thing. And I'm going to go and post this up. And you guys should wake the fuck up because if not for me choosing, you know, boxing and then getting Rodney King, it, seriously, I mean, I, I was a white heavyweight. I just won a state of Florida uh, with the, like, longest knockout in history. You know, I caught this guy cold, you know what, and put him to sleep for, like, minutes and shit so where he couldn't fucking fight for, like, a year, a year and a half and shit. I mean, seriously, he couldn't. Why, how, come you, how come you ain't fighting, homeboy? Well, because, you know what, uh, it's illegal, okay? Dan Quinn put me to fucking sleep and shit, you know what I'm saying? <coughs> oh, I can fucking hit, man, when I fucking choose to. And, uh, you know what, isn't it true that Mike McGregor conceded, you know what, uh, you didn't want to fucking stand a punch, you know, from the get-go, right, you want to wear me down a little bit, you know what, you gave up, I, I made you concede, homeboy, you know what, and you're a savage, anyways, tip of the cap, um, choked you out, hope you've, uh, done me right, though, I don't know what your record since, you know what I'm saying, are you wealthy enough to fucking train and shit, and, uh, we should start a fucking, uh, a TV gig, you know what, welcome to John L. Sullivan's saloon and shit, you know what, uh, and, you know, on my right, you can choose from Mike McGregor, or whoever I choose, okay, and, and, and me, and, and you know what, you can fucking step up, you know what, and we can throw punches, and we can get that on film, and, uh, you know what, uh, yeah, guys, line the fuck up, Steve Stevia, Tell you what, punk, fucking, you don't have any idea what you bit off, dog, all right? Fact, not fiction. Um, <clears throat> I was so fucking unbelievably strong, homie, that uh, even though I was an outside linebacker, uh, I, I manned up with Andy Heck who went to the NFL. Andy, isn't it true that you never blew me, uh, you didn't blow, it, 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 you know, 
it was like a stalemate, you know what, uh, and, and I was just getting used to that position, you know what I'm saying, uh, and, and kind of so are you, okay, it's a tight end and shit, but fact not fiction, dog, isn't it true that I should have been in the NFL, and isn't it true that Marty should have been, and I'm thinking, God, you know what, potential movie, and he had, he looked like shit, dog, okay, straight up, dog, uh, from what you look like when you, you were young, you were like fucking, with Superman, you know, we said, we said, put an S on your chest, man, uh, it's Greg Clark Kent, and you're like, ho, 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 you know what, and, and Marty Lippercott, remember Marty, okay, <coughs> who could drink a fucking, uh, damn near a case of beer, you know what, and then add tequila on it, and he can still drive and shit, you know what, but that one time, Marty, that we were fucking, uh, in the fucking, uh, St. Joseph, Mishawaka River, okay, we were fucking out there with the fucking, uh, plank from a fucking bench that we had ripped off, okay, and we're trying to stab fish and shit, all right, <laughs> uh, yeah, that was the fucking brightest thing, wasn't it, but, you know, um, did we succeed, uh, did we actually knock one out and, and capture him, you know what, they can make a movie about that, if we did, and, uh, you should have been in the NFL, dog, okay, Tony Saragusa was, and Tony Saragusa, man, <coughs> are you cool, Tony Saragusa, are you cool? Um, yeah. Are you cool? Because if you're not, man, uh, money can clown you, homie. And I saw Marty handle you in college or in high school and shit. You know what? And then he stopped USC. He just never got a chance. So we're talking about more than one fucking like potential all pro career fucking ended by Lou Holtz. And that's the title to a book that's coming up. You know what? Wake up, Lou Holtz. You better listen.